Hey there, it's just another quick video. I was over here doing a maintenance and um, performing combustion analysis here. And it was higher than I actually turned the gas pressure down. The gas pressure was set to 3.8. I got it set down at uh, 3.4. But it still has pretty high uh, undiluted CO and CO, as you can see, uh, 230 parts per million. You want to keep that undiluted below 100 parts per million if possible. And um, I found the issue could be a design uh, design flow of carry. I've been in the field. I've seen a, a whole a handful of carriers this season. It's always been carriers that have had this um, misalignment issue with the burners. If you look down here, like I said, you would not be able to tell just visually looking at it. There's an issue. Okay, but what I've come to find, I think what it is. If you look at this side, you can see the gap on that side of the the flame this is, it looks about a half inch right then you come over on this side see how it's almost it's impinging there there's really no gap there's probably about a, maybe a quarter inch on this side okay so the burners themselves you can see probably needs to be uh, these screws need to be loosened and the whole burner needs to slide this way, about a half inch. I already tested it. I, just, uh, I twisted here on the gas valve, and the seal went down rapidly. So we really just need a bit more clearance on that side of the burner. This is definitely a carrier design issue. Um, most of the carriers I come across and do a combustion analysis on have this issue. It's not necessarily well, it is pretty bad, actually. I mean, we're producing really high part CO, so if it gets um, cross-contaminating with the airstream, it's it's pretty bad. So, um, it's just a quick quick video I wanted to cover. Let me know if you guys have seen anything like this in the field. I'm pretty certain you have, because, like I said, most of the carriers I come across, once again, you can see that impinging. It's very slight impinging, but it's it's there. Look at the difference. Look at the gap there on that side. When I mean the gap, I'm talking about the, the space between the flame and the wall of the heat exchanger. And then look at the gap on that side. Let's carry it for you. So, yeah, there you go. One more time. Big difference. It's like that across the board. Look how close that one is. I'm on this side, nice big gap. Gap, nothing. So that's what a flame impingement looks like. Um, and we want to go ahead and I'm going to try to see if I can go ahead and rectify that. But right now. We just have to let the customer know, see what they want to do about it. Alright, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.